Hey guys, it's Janelle and Frankie, and my mom's here. It's Wednesday, and we're going to the bins again. So hopefully we find some treasures and we'll let you know what we find.
pull cart. Got some stuffed animals, toys, golf shoes. Uh, a lot of random stuff, I guess. A couple books. All that. That whole cart for 15 bucks. Not a bad day. So, I'm not going to go into it right now because we got to go to lunch. But once our delivery boy brings it back to the treasure chest, we'll go over some of it. See you later. That's our delivery. Hey, everyone. I'm Frank. This is my wife Janelle. We're back inside the treasure chest and it's Wednesday again, which means another Goodwill Bins video. Because Janelle was at the Goodwill Bins today, all day I think, looking for some good goodies. So I'll hand it off to Janelle and uh, let her see what the delivery guy's bringing in today. So we got all the stuff in here. I put some of this stuff out to show you what we got and what it's worth, what we paid for it. So, all right. Mm. So this is um, Krisha Playful Plush. It's a moose stocking. And I actually had found a Krisha Playful Plush Christmas moose um, a while back that I was comping that wasn't really worth anything. But this stocking actually came up. And so I, when I saw it, I, I grabbed it and I double checked again and there was one that sold new. It sold new for $75 and obviously this one isn't new and it's not Christmas time. So I'll clean it up a bit and I mean, you know, price it a little bit lower than $75 and that'll, I'm happy with that. <laughs> so that was kind of cool seeing that after seeing comps on that already. Um, this calculator, normally I don't really look at these printing calculators, but it was Texas Instruments so I looked it up. Um... Not still not worth a ton, but $22 uh, free shipping was the comp that I saw on it. Um, I actually forgot to test it while I was there because I it had gotten to the bottom of my cart, so I will have to see if it works. But yeah, $17, $20 maybe for that. Um, this is, I think, yep, 17 this is a Care Bears American Greetings car. Um, there's comps for that. Uh, between $25 and $40, depending on, and then there's, if you have any of the figures, I might have some camera figures I could put with it that'll help with the sale, too. Gotta clean it up a bit, but shouldn't be too bad. Um, PJ Masks, Gecko, Plush, he talks, I did test him, he works, uh, about $20 or so for him. He's in good shape, so that was good. Um, we got our Wrinkles, the dog. Puppet, and I guess he he makes noise or talks or something too, because I I can feel a some kind of box or something in there, and I didn't realize that when I picked it up. So we'll have to see if that works. But um, when I comped him, it came up anywhere between thirty and forty five dollars. So we'll we'll test him out, see if see if the sound works, and go from there. But he looks like he's in really good condition. Um, all right, what's next? This blanket is next. Um. This was actually in the bottom of a bin. They use blankets and uh, you know old clothes in that to kind of pad um, the glassware and everything. And I saw I saw the colors first. I picked it up and it's Care Bears, and I it's not that old. I think it's from 2007. But I looked it up and there's none listed right now. But there are two solds, one for $43 and another for $49. So a couple, one spot or two that I should be able to cleaned out of it and that should be a nice little profit. Um, this guy, um, my mom found him for me. He, he needs to be cleaned up too. I got some spray and I'll wash him on Delicate. I guess he's a, um, called a pillow person. I guess that's a brand. Um, I didn't find this particular one, but other pillow people have sold for anywhere between 30 and $50. Um, I didn't see this particular Mickey one. There's another Mickey one listed for, I think, 80 something. So hopefully I can get him cleaned up and just price him a little bit lower than that maybe and make a good profit. This is a Folk Manus puppet, um, Australian Shepherd. And 
There's one listed right now up for auction with a bid at $28, and then there is one sold for $49, so it seems in really good shape. No stains or anything, I don't think, no holes, so I get excited when I see the Folk Manus because they're usually, eh, for the most, especially the bigger size ones, they're, they're pretty good. They're worth a bit. Um, let's see, sorry, okay. This is a um, kind of a nightlight glow lamp kind of thing caught my eye I wasn't really gonna look into it too much and didn't have oh yeah it does say target it did say target so I look I tried looking up target dress lamp I mean it just was giving me dresses and clothes and that I did an image search and it brought it up and um sold between 25 and 30 dollars so it was I guess that was a good little find a little bit of clean up there. Um, these golf shoes, um, Echo, Natural Motion, um, Hydromax. I looked those up and I found the same ones that sold for $75. Um, not, there's different colors and different styles of the Echo golf shoes, but I guess we'll try to price it around at $75 maybe and see how that goes and I think that's oh this one I didn't I didn't run a comp on this I ran a comp at the store but I don't have it here um romper room and friends go to the zoo VHS it's still sealed and everything not worth a ton but I think it might have been worth 15 or so which I thought was pretty good for a VHS and especially being that it's still sealed and everything so and then got some other little things and that um couldn't fit it all up here on the table <laughs> so I don't know, I guess we'll maybe show some of that later or show it as it hopefully sells. So, yeah. So cool. There you have it. Another Wednesday with Janelle at the Goodwill Bins. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. And if you uh, like these videos, don't be afraid to use that little index finger and hit that like button and subscribe. And we'll be sure to get some more videos out to you. See ya. Man, this guy